We begin with those frightening moments in Times Square. Firefighters rush to the crossroads of the world after an explosion like sound. Let's get right to CBS 2's Thalia Perez. She's live on scene with more. Thalia. Jessica, fortunately for everyone, there were no injuries to tell you about. But I can tell you that this is a bustling area with a lot of pedestrian traffic. We'll push in and give you a look right now at the scene right now. 7th Avenue remains closed from, from traffic, from pedestrian traffic from 44th to 42nd. We've got fire trucks and con ed trucks here. They're actually working around the corner on West 43rd. Firefighters say just before 7 p.m., there were three manhole fires. They say elevated carbon monoxide levels were found at 229 West 43rd. Eyewitnesses say it was a scary ordeal and everyone on the street began scrambling after they heard explosions. Once I seen the fire, the cops started telling me to back up. I slowly started backing up, but still, I started, like, then again, I started proceeding, like, to the fire, and then it actually exploded right in front of me, and that's when I just, like, I started running. Again, you're looking live at the Con Ed trucks and fire trucks. They're still on the scene. I'm told they're in the process of venting and mitigating the cellar and sub cellar of the building where the elevated carbon monoxide levels were found. That is the latest from here in Times Square. Thalia Perez, CBS 2 News. All right. Thank you, Thalia.